Hey, what's up YouTube? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do a really quick and easy zoom blur transition effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's do it. All right, so now we're in Adobe Premiere Pro and I dragged the two clips that we're gonna do the zoom blur transition effect with into the project. And we have this first shot here, which is a wider angle shot. And then we have a second shot, which is more of a close up of the same exact pose. So the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to take that first clip and move it up one track. And then we're gonna to need to go to the end of that clip and with the arrow keys, we're gonna to need to move over three times to the left. So one, two, three. And then we're gonna take that bottom clip and we're gonna move it under that lip so now that there's a little overlaying section right here. The next thing we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to to type in transform in the effects tab and we're gonna take that transform effect and we're gonna drag it onto the top layer. Now if you click on the top layer in the effect controls under the transform effect, there's a bunch of different options here. But what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to go to where that second clip on the bottom begins right there, but make sure the top clip is selected. And we're gonna make a keyframe for position and scale. For some videos, you might need to rotate the video, but not for this one. So what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to go to the end of that top clip once again, make sure it's selected. And we're actually gonna make the opacity 25% so we can see through the clip and what we're working with. We're also gonna drag it over one frame so we can actually see what we're working with. And what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to change the scale to about 300 so we can make that first top clip bigger. And the whole purpose of this is to line up the faces of the first shot and the second shot so that the transition is pretty smooth looking and it's actually more so realistic. So what we're also going to need to do is we're going to need to change the position. We're going to move that original face to the left a little bit. You move it to the left to about, let's see, 263 looks, 263 looks pretty good. And then we're also going to need to move it down slightly. So we're going to move it height to about 408 ish right there looks pretty good the glasses line up the mouth lines up everything lines up pretty good so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drag this top clip back to where the three frames were originally and we're actually going to come up here we can see it we're going to take that opacity keyframe and we're going to delete that so everything's back to normal and then we're going to come down here into the transform section again and we're going to uncheck the use composition sh shutter angle and then we're going to use a shutter angle of 180 degrees press enter and then right here for the keyframes for position and scale we're going to drag and highlight all of those right click on them go to temporal interpolation and then you're going to click on bezier what that's also going to do is that's just going to smooth out the transition once it zooms in a little bit more so now if you play that back to where the transition is this is what you get and that's pretty much it for the effect. So it's a pretty simple effect. You can use this on as many clips as you like. The things that you would need to look out for though, is you would need to actually, when you're filming the project, you're gonna need to know that you're gonna want to use this effect so you can film a wider shot and then a closer shot so that you can use both of those to be able to create the transition effect with. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out in any way, please hit that subscribe button and leave a like. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.